Mpanyaza Lesufi is briefing the media on education matters in the province and its readiness for the 2018 academic year. Kalteng got an 85.1% pass rate in the 2017 matric results. Let's cross live. The numbers that we are having in Gauteng, uh, they are abnormal, they are huge, and we'll need parents to understand uh, that there is a process uh, that they need to work with us and, and deal with that issue. Let me go to the issue of admissions. Um, because we anticipate a huge volume uh, of parents that feel that they have not received the final confirmation of where their children will be placed. We have now dedicated Saturday the 13th and Sunday the 14th for all walk-ins. So if a parent has not received any placement on the 13th and the 14th in all our districts between 8 o'clock in the morning and 5 o'clock in the evening, you can walk in and make an inquiry and will be in a position to tell you that we've placed your child here or we've placed your child at school. So we've got three categories and I'm going to go through those three categories. The first category is parents that have applied on time. Of the parents that have applied on time, 17,000 learners could not be placed. Uh, and these 17,000 learners could not be placed because majority of parents prefer a certain school and those schools are full. Uh, so, so what we have done as a department, we've placed them in their second or third choices or where there is availability. And since we have done that, majority of parents have not accepted those schools. So, so they're leaving the entire system hanging uh, purely because they've not accepted the placement that we've given them. So. Those are the parents that we are saying on the 13th and the 14th, just go and look for your alternative placement. So you go to the district, they will give you the alternative placement. But on the 17th, so of this 17,000 uh, uh, learners that we have not placed, on the 17th, if we've placed you at an alternative school and we've not accepted it, so we've not taken advantage of our working on the 13th and 14th, on the 17th, all those placements, they fall off, which simply means that whoever that, maybe let me put it this way, you wanted your child to go to Pinoni High. Pinoni High is full. We've placed your child at what is another school in Pinoni, uh, uh, Advocate? Wentworth. Okay. Yeah, Wentworth. Wentworth. So Pinoni High is full. We've placed your child at, at Wentworth Secondary School, but you have not accepted that. On the 17th, the offer of Wentworth falls off, and the parent then goes at the back of the list uh, uh, so that we can free those that one. And I'll tell you who do you want to free. Those that you want to give them the spaces now is those that applied late. So we, we received 22,921 late applications. Remember, you've got 17,000 that have applied on time, but we have not placed them, but we have given them alternative offers. They've not accepted those offers. We say, go to our district on the 13th and the 14th. We will place your child. But on the 13th and the 14th, if you don't come on the 17th, all the offers that we've given you will fall off. And now we are bringing the 24, the 22,000 that have applied late to then occupy uh, 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 those, uh, those places. Of the 22,921 that applied late, 8,865 learners from this group have been placed. So we are left with 14,000. So we received 22,000 late application. We placed eight. We are left with 14,000. So if we add the 17,000 that was not placed that applied early and the 14,000 that applied late, you can see that we still have a mammoth task uh, of placing uh, 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 learners. Uh, so, so, so if you add 17,000 and 14,000, uh, you, you have 31,000 <coughs> learners in Gauteng that have not been placed. So both 
the 17,000 and the 14,000, you've got an, the 13th and the 14th. So it's Saturday, Sunday. So no one will say that uh, 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 I'm working. So on the 13th and the 14th, we'll give you the list. You go to the district offices, the centers next to you, you go there and then inquire and then it will place you so that you can buy school uniform and your child can join us on the 17th uh, 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 of January. But if you don't do that, you have lost all your privileges of placement. Then you'll be in a position to take those that applied late. Those that will be coming to Gauteng for the first time, unfortunately, I've got bad news for you. We are only going to record you. We are not going to place you until we're finished with this 31,000. Which simply means that if you are coming from somewhere, you say, it's January, I want my child to be in Gauteng. We will indeed take the details of your child. But you must know that you are joining the list from 31,000. So you still have 31,000 people that are ahead of you before we can place you. Uh, uh, and we'll plead with those parents to be patient because we have to exhaust the 31,000. Uh, and, and, and this may take long. Uh, last year, the last placement we placed was in mid-February. Uh, so that was the last placement we had uh, last year. That was mid-February. So anyone that intends to come to Gauteng, we are pleading with those parents. If you can get alternative placement in other provinces, you stand a better chance of your child getting education there than to force your child to come to Gauteng and that child might not get placement in Gauteng. Uh, uh, and that's an area that we felt that uh, we need to, 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 to emphasize and also to request parents uh, to take note of this uh, pressure that we find ourselves in. There are three disturbing things that have taken place during uh, uh, the December period. The first one is unprecedented break-ins in our schools. Um, we've got so many schools that criminals have decided to invade uh, and, 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 and they've decided to take uh, things that are utilized for learning. So we've advised the HOD and the management of the school to immediately address that situation. Uh, but we know there are three or four schools that might not start on day one because criminals have stolen computers, uh, they've stolen everything that you need to have uh, education. Uh, uh, and if you don't have that, you don't have education. So, so because you can't deploy teachers, you don't have attendance registers, you don't have all these basic administrative things. But the HOD is working very hard with the team to attend to that situation. The second problem that we have, that we had, is that we were hit by two storms. Uh, the last storm that we just had that uh, hit our province, we've got a list of schools that have just circulated. Uh, these schools are not going to be ready. Uh, so, so we're working flat out to ensure that all these schools are ready before we start. But there, there will be few schools that might not be ready purely because uh, we, have, we, have, we, have, we have this uh, problem of, of, of responding to the storm damaged schools. Uh, we've given you the list of these schools. The last part is that we've got almost seven of our patrollers that were shot, attacked as well. Um, the latest was in Freedom Park, uh, 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 where our patroller was attacked and those patrollers were hospitalized. Uh, it's a trend that is worrying uh, and, and, and very disturbing. Yeah, if one have to emphasize that particular part. I can confirm uh, that we are opening a new school in, in, in Everest that is in your Westbury area because it's one area that we have pressure. So we are opening a new school on the 17th of January to tackle that pressure. Uh, that will take us, I think, to number 49 school since we came to office. There's a number of schools that we have built since 2014. Uh, 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 yeah, this school was, was, was built on asbestos, so we have to destroy it and build a new one uh, so that 
we, we, we eliminate the number of asbestos schools uh, that we still have uh, in the province. We, 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 we are also building what you call alternative construction, using alternative construction technology uh, so that where there are pressures, these schools can be built over three months. We are, we are frustrating that process so that these schools can be available and can be utilized uh, as soon as possible. I can confirm that all our schools in the province, because we track this thing closely, they've got stationery and textbooks. So there's no single school that can claim that we don't have textbook or stationery. Uh, we have tracked, we are convinced that our schools are ready uh, uh, to resume with the academic activities on the 17th of uh, January. This also goes to uh, uh, furniture. 436 schools uh, received new furniture across the province, as well as the school nutrition and the scholar transport. We are going to take, uh, we are going to feed almost 1.4 million learners per day. Uh, this has increased from 1.3. Uh, so we've got almost 100,000 new learners in the system that we need to. And we're going to transport 104,000 uh, new learners to all areas where we believe that these learners can get accommodation to be taught. We estimate uh, the, the damage that was caused by the storm to be 140 million. As I said, we've asked the HOD uh, to move its speed so that these schools can be repaired. Unfortunately, we don't have the financial muscle to, to fix them. So what we've done, uh, we said uh, we will approach our provincial treasury and the, and, and the provincial disaster fund so that they can assist us. Uh, but you know, people are on holiday. So that is why we say some of these schools might not be in a position to deal 